garage sale calls. It's Friday. It's Friday morning and I happen to see a couple of garage sales on Craigslist. So I'm going to go head out and see what I can find. I already fed the animals super early, kind of cold. We'll see what that, we'll see what's out there. everybody it's Janine over at Slow Happy Vintage. I decided to give garage sales another try today. I have not been going to garage sales because I think I mentioned in another video that I never seem to really find things at garage sales that much. It's really hit and miss and for the time it takes to go out driving finding garage sales and a lot of people around here show up at garage sales an hour or more in advance and I'm just not going to do that. I went to three, three I think. I guess that wasn't enough because I ended up having to stop by one of my favorite antique shops and I went to take a look to see what they had as well. So let's flip the camera around. First garage sale I went to started pretty early and I only found a couple of things, just these two I believe it was, but I did find a Trafari bracelet for four dollars that is in beautiful condition. So that was probably the best find of the day and it was the first thing. And then I got this very 80s kind of runway style Lucite bracelet. I just thought that was, yeah, I like weird. So <laughs> I got that weird. So those were the first two. Then I stopped at a, an, an estate sale that she had some jewelry but it was extremely high priced this estate sale company has a tendency to be very high priced but I did find this little guy and this is a um, gosh what is her name it's H Olson she's a California potter and her uh, pottery sells pretty well I paid $10 for all of this stuff here and we have some little cufflinks that say Bob on them on Mother of Pearl. This one needs to be glued back on. And then this is a little sterling with a genuine diamond um, tie tack. That These don't sell for that much. It's from Simmons. I don't think it's that old, but it does have a genuine little diamond in there. And it's got like a little star design. Then we have some... I think these are swank, yeah, some swank cufflinks. Once again, they don't sell that for that much, but I just made a pile of things that I was interested in and she gave me a price and I took it. And these are Trafari earrings. These are the newer Trafari. They are Trafari with a trademark, so they are probably uh, 80s, 80s, 90s. And then these are Coro, which these are kind of boring. I wouldn't normally pick these up, but since I was putting a lot of stuff together, I just kind of threw those in the mix because I can probably put those with a necklace and it will help the sale of another piece. And then some, these look like moon glow, kind of like a cat eye moon glow. I don't know if you can see that. See how the little, the little, shimmer moves anyway they call that i believe a cat eye moon glow and these are cufflinks in a gray these are probably the best purchase in this little ten dollar lot these are vintage laurel birch butterfly clip-ons and they are sterling and then these necklaces i just picked up there's nothing really special. If I don't use the necklace for anything, I'll use the clasp for doing some uh, repair work. These are just glass. And then just a multi-chain 
white chain enamel along with just gold tone and older class, but there's nothing really special about this either. It is just a nice chain. I figured if I needed some chains, I can take this apart and there are several chains in here that I can use for repurposing. Okay, so that was that's it. That's all I found at the garage sales. Nothing too spectacular. And because there was nothing too spectacular, I decided to stop by my favorite antique store down there and I just found a couple of things. The first thing I found was this. That's glass. And I am not sure what this clip is or does or I I did like this. It is missing a couple of rhinestones and I will go ahead and fix that. But the motif is beautiful. Um, there, a lot of work went into this piece. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I found a milk glass bar pin. This has got some substantial weight to it. I don't see any marks or names or anything on this, but uh, it's kind of a fun piece. And this was $3 as well. This was three dollars this was three dollars and this spoon I just thought was cute this is from Czechoslovakia and it's a little enamel bird spoon uh, it is marked Czechoslovakia on the back and that was three dollars too and then the last thing I found for the day were these I believe these are sewing scissors they are sterling and it's marked Henkel's twin works right there made in Germany they do cut and I thought those were pretty special. This was $12, and I have seen them online. I did look these up. They range anywhere from about $40 to $80. I did see some in the hundreds, but I don't think they're gonna sell for hundreds. So that's that, and that's all I found today. So that's more realistic as to what you might expect uh, for a morning of garage sailing looking for jewelry now don't get me wrong there's some days that it's amazing and you know it's a hit or miss kind of thing but I do find I generally have better luck going to my regular antique stores and thrift stores looking for jewelry and I like it because there's no rush to go to those places you just go look purchase or not whereas the garage sales run here are a little frantic and I, I am NOT all about frantic so that's it for today. Um, I'm still working. I'm, I apologize for my nails. I do have some repairs on jewelry to do and I kind of don't like to wear any fancy nails or polish or anything when I do repairs. I've been doing a lot of cleaning and it really thrashes your hands when you're cleaning jewelry and doing repairs. So bear with me. They are not going to be that pretty for a little while, but we're going to get to some repairs. Please leave me a comment, like, and share this video if you can it does help the algorithm get my little videos out to see other people and we will see you in the next one have a great week mm -hmm.